Hi, this is Matt Dansbury, Program Director for the Uptime Institute Symposium. I'm here with George Slesman, uh, CEO of IO Data Centers, and George is going to be giving a keynote presentation at Uptime Institute Symposium May 14th through 17th at the Santa Clara Convention Center on uh, Data Center 2.0, Reality Strikes. So, George, can you tell us a little bit about your presentation? Uh, certainly, Matt. Uh, so, as you know, everyone remembers back to, potentially, hopefully remembers back to last year when I presented uh, the, the, uh, at the UTI symposium and then spoke about, you know, the last snowflake, the, the NAR assertion and my assertion that, you know, the last construction-based data center will be, we be deployed in the next 24 months. Um, you know, this year's presentation is to continue that theme and to show how this concept of data center 2.0 and this trans, this trend, this transformative trend that, that's being adopted across um, and the enterprise uh, uh, IT, um, and how it's actually happened, about the reality of, of Data Center 2.0 and its deployment over the last year. So, George, can you tell me a little bit about the, the actual customer base? Is that going to be something you're going to be talking about for the modular data centers? Yes, in the in in the context of this presentation, we're we're going to look to I'm going to look to cover a couple different things. First is to talk about what's happened in the last 12 months um, around Data Center 2.0 and the and modular data center, which is a significant number of both technological um, as well as uh, process uh, uh, changes that have occurred. Second is to talk about specific customer instances of, of deployment um, around the technology, both the the hardware. Uh, solution, the IO Anywhere hardware solution, as well as the IO OS, which is uh, an advanced form of data center infrastructure management. And then the third thing is to actually demonstrate um, one of the higher level functions and aspirational features of Data Center 2.0 um, with regard to the integration between the IT infrastructure and the data center infrastructure for the first time. So the expectation here uh, is for a, a uh, concrete examples of of data center two point and its implementation last twelve months. Great, George. I O is going to have a, a unit on site in our modular data center campus. Can you talk a little bit about kind of what kind of opportunity people will have to come kick the tires on some of these uh, modular units? Absolutely. So the the plan is to have one of our standard units of delivery for, for data center capacity on site, which is uh, I believe in this case will be a D two hundred or D three hundred module, which is our our data module, our standard data module. Um, and you know customers will have and, and attendees will have access to you know tour uh, the the module itself, get a deep dive introduction um, with our engineering team, which will be on site, as well as our uh, solution architecture team, which will be able to walk people through. The, uh, the technology platform and explain and describe um, in concrete reality the uh, the modular uh, design, both internal to the module and then the external modularity uh, of the of the product, and then be able to very specifically see how our operating system takes this standard delivery of, of data center capacity and then integrates it into the larger IT landscape. So. Um, really making it a, a, a physical, a logical transition, right? So you can you can both physically see the module and what it does and how it functions, and then also get access to this relevance um, into the IT stack uh, right on site. So not only be able to physically, um, as you said, kick the tires of, of the module, but you'll be able to see um, the roadmap of, of how it then integrates into the larger uh, IT landscape. So it should be a very, very... Um, um, informative uh, uh, demonstration uh, and, and also interactive um, um, process. Great. Twelve months in, the last snowflake. Does your 24-month uh, prediction stand up at this point? Do you think so? You know, I, I, I would have, I, yes. I, I think that you know it, we're we're getting closer to the to the point where this is no longer uh, you know really an optional way of, of deploying capacity that it's going to become the the uh, the de facto um, method for deploying. I don't believe that um, you know all construction based data centers are going to come there. And obviously, I don't think that's the the point of my assertion. Um, but the, the the point is that this is. This is a means of delivery that has to be considered. Um, and, and in the light of, of, of workloads shifting and changing, um, this, is, this is one solution uh, that, that helps to solve the, the, the core problems of, of IT uh, with regard to the data center. That, you know, essentially, there's, there's kind of four fundamental problems with the data center. They take uh, the construction-based data center. They take too long to deliver. 
They cost too much both incrementally and in aggregate. They're largely insecure, and there's no inherent scalability in a traditional data center design. And you take those four deficiencies of existing data center delivery, and then you correlate that to what the data center solves for, which is to keep a user connected to an application, um, and, and the IT infrastructure that supports that relationship, and the cycle times and the cost, the unit cost of those, and the scalability, inherent scalability of each of those components, it becomes, you know, I think strikingly obvious that, that a change has to happen. And, and I think the simplest place for that change to occur is actually at the infrastructure layer, uh, which is what, what we're espousing. Thanks, George. And we're going to have lots of information, including uh, buying trends, uh, market sizing, and some deployment advice for modular data centers uh, next month at a time two symposium. It's almost here. May 14th through 17th at the Santa Clara Convention Center. Thanks, George. Thank you, Matt.